Mary, I am so happy today. I came to tell you the good news. What happened? My son opened a shop for me a few months after buying a car for me. I really thank God for the life of that boy. He is indeed special. This is the joy of motherhood, I've started reaping the fruits of my labor. This is good news. Congratulations my friend. I am so happy for you. Thank you Mary. The Lord that did it for my son will do it for yours. The Lord that has used that boy to wipe away my tears, to uplift my family again will also do it for your son. I pray it happens soon. My son is not even a serious person, I've told him to talk to his friends if they can help him but he won't listen. Please, help me speak to your son on his behalf. I will. I just hope that your son is not a lazy person, because Daniel doesn't like lazy people. I'll talk to him to help him. Thank you very much. You're a good person. So tell me, when is the shop opening? Soon. I'll invite you when I'm ready. What are you doing at home by this time? Your mate are out there working, driving big cars and helping their parent, yet you're just sitting here. Look at Princess Sun, he bought a car for his mother and the latest is that he has rented a shop for her, gave her money to stock it up. She's now a businesswoman. Everyone's child is progressing except mine. What did I ever do to deserve this? I sent you to the best schools. Is it not federal university that her son attended? You went to a private university, you never experienced a strike, but you were becoming useless. Everybody has overtaken you in life. Your mate has all overtaken you. Mom please. I'm going crazy because of your nagging. Who told you that I'm lazy and I'm not searching for jobs? You better go and meet Sister Princess Sun and ask for his help. I've already spoken to the mother and she promised to talk to him on your behalf. Yes, Mom. I've heard you. Can you now leave? I hope you heard me clearly. Go and kneel down and ask Daniel for help. Tell him to show you the way. He should connect you so that you can also work and buy me a car. I also want to reap the fruit of my labor. The people that their sons are buying cars for do not have two heads. I also want to be able to face my age mates and brag about how my son is spoiling me. So this is what all this is about? You want to be able to brag to your women? Why can't you be patient with me? I mean, I'm not God. I have searched for a job and I've prayed, what else do you want me to do? Maybe you want me to start stealing so that you can be happy. Mom please, I am tired of your constant nags and comparison. Stop comparing me to your friend's children, as our faces are different so is our path and our destiny. God makes everything beautiful in this time. I will also get there. Please, leave God out of this. You're just lazy. Go out and get busy. Okay mom. I've heard you. Hi Daniel, good to see you. Good to see you too. I've been quite busy that's why I've not even called to check on you. I work both in the daytime and at night. That's good. At least, you're working and busy. My mom told me that she asked your mom to talk to you on my behalf. Please, if there's any opening in your company or any other company, you let me know. Alright brother. I'll ask around for you because there's no vacancy in my company for now. I heard you bought a brand new car for your mom. That's so thoughtful of you. Congratulations to you. Yes. We thank God for the grace. I want to give you something, please don't reject it. Please, send me your account number let me transfer some cash to you. My mom told me everything. Don't worry, all will soon be well. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much brother. You're welcome. Daniel transferred 200,000 Naira to me. God bless Daniel for me. At least, I can give my mother some of this cash for the house upkeep so that she can stop nagging me for some days. Daniel must be very rich. He just gave me 200,000 Naira like it's nothing. 
I must find a way and be closer to him so that he can show me the way. I'll really like to do his kind of job after all, we studied the same course. Mom, did you see the money I dropped in your room? Yes. Where did you get the money from? Daniel gave me the money. I decided to give you some for the house upkeep. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Another man's child that's your age mate is giving you freebies. Instead of you to ask him to show you the way and connect you so that you can also make money, you were collecting chicken change. I did. He said there's no vacancy at his company for now. Then keep on disturbing him. He should connect you to any other company that there is vacancy. I will. I'll call to remind him now. Don't worry mum, I believe things will get better. Hello Daniel. Thank you so much for last time. Please, don't forget me. I still need a job. I'll do whatever to leave this house. My mom is really frustrating me. If you're sure you can do anything then meet me tomorrow. I'll send you the address. No problem. I'll be there on time. Thank you so much my brother. You're welcome. How is your day going? Are you on lunch break? I was expecting to meet you at your office. You're asking so many questions at once. I'm on lunch break. That's okay. So is your office around here? What's the name of your company? Guy, stop asking so many questions. Do you need a job or not? You sounded very desperate on the phone and you said that you will do anything to leave the house that's why I asked you to come. I was serious when I said I can do any job to leave the house because my mom is frustrating me. Then listen to me. I have a job for you. This is it. God has finally answered my prayers. What kind of job is it? I have an operation coming up on Friday. You can join us. We're expecting nothing less than 5 million from that operation. Each person will take 1 million. I don't get you. I don't understand. What do you mean by operation? Is it hospital operation? But I'm not a doctor. Why are you acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't work in any company. Will you join in the operation or not? Then that means you steal for a living. What a surprise. Daniel really? What if we are caught? I don't think I can do this. I'm so sorry. Then make sure you don't tell anyone what I do or else you're dead. Make sure you keep your mouth shut, I don't spare anyone that comes for me. You also kill people? Don't worry, I won't tell anyone about this. You can go. Make sure you think well about this. You can become a millionaire overnight if you join us. Whenever you come to your senses, you call me. Mom, good evening. Welcome back. What did Daniel say? When will you start? Mom, calm down. I've not even gotten a job, you're already asking when I'm starting. What about a job that Daniel offered you? I don't like it. I already rejected it. You rejected what? What a useless child. How can you reject a job when you don't even have any other option? Are you being serious? My friend, go back to Daniel and tell him that you'll do the job. That you were not serious when you rejected it. Mom. Have you asked me what kind of job it is? Shouldn't that be more important to you? Why should I care? Is it not the same work that Daniel is doing? Just look at how he has changed his family for good. Why am I even wasting time here? Let me call Princess so that she can beg Daniel on your behalf. You better get ready to start working. From tomorrow, I don't want to see you at home during working hours. Do you understand? Yes, mom. Look who is here. I thought I'm the worst sinner on earth, but I think that your mother does not think so. Guy, you see this life. Make money and enjoy yourself and when death comes, you know that it's final. I don't plan living a reckless life and stealing money that others have used their sweat to work for. I plan on making honest living. I'll just join me once because of how my mother is frustrating me and that's it. After I get my own share of the money, I'll look for something else to do or even use the money to start a business. I have heard that before. I'll just join once and move on. 
most of the guys working with me said the same thing but they're still here. When they receive their share of the cash, they'll start begging me to plan the next operation fast. I won't be like that. What are your plans? I hope we won't be caught. I'm not planning to ruin my life at a police cell. We've done this for years and we've never been caught. Don't worry, I'll train you on what to do and how to handle gun. You, where's the money you just withdrew from the bank? Get up and move to your car now. I don't have any money on me. I didn't withdraw any money. I hate lies. You don't know that we've been following you from the bank. Move fast before I blow your head. All right, sir. I'll give you the money. It's in my boot. You can take the money, but please, don't kill me. My wife and kids are waiting at home for me. Please, don't kill me. I won't. Just give me the money and I'll leave. Why didn't you tell me that Daniel is not working at a company? If you had told me the truth, I won't have forced you to work with him. Now, look what you've gotten yourself into. You'll have to spend five years in prison just like that. I regret everything. I'm so sorry for always comparing you to him. I'm so sorry my son. Mom, stop crying. I am an adult and I should have been firm in my decision. I should have said no knowing that this is wrong. Please, try to be strong for me. I failed you. I should have encouraged you while waiting on God's time. How was I to know that Daniel is stealing for a living? He used people's sweat to buy a car for his mom. Indeed, not all that glitters is gold. It's okay mom, I'll be fine. I hope God forgives me and the people I robbed forgives me too. Visitation hour is over. It's time to go back to yourself. Mom, stay strong and take care of yourself. Please, stop living in regret. Goodbye. Hello everyone. Please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and always support by watching the adverts. Please, do not make the mistake I made with my son. Let's try to support our kids by encouraging them and stop comparing them to their friends. Let's also learn to be patient with God. Stop rushing ahead of Him. God's time is the best and He makes everything beautiful in His time. He's not a late God and He's always on time. Thanks for watching and remain blessed.